G'day, Gene here from Fitty Angler. Today we're going to take you through a bit of a demonstration of beach launching. Now this is a sort of typical scenario here. Big beach in the background here, a little bit of a swell coming in today, not too bad. Just going to run you through a few of the steps of what you need to do to beach launch effectively. So we've just rolled up. The first thing really you need to concentrate on is getting the boat all prepared before you take the boat on the sand. First thing you want to do, obviously, is take off all your tie downs. Unclip everything. Make sure your trailer flag's off. You want to obviously make sure that all your bungs are in. You want to check the back of your boat. Go through the back of your boat. Make sure your bungs are in, it's nice and tight. Your scuppers are up or down, depending on what you want at the start. I like to keep mine up. And if we do take on any water, once we get out, we'll let them down and let the excess water out. So we make sure in some beach launching scenarios, if you've got a bit of a exposed transducer like this, some transducers you can fold up and fold them out of the way so they don't get broken when the boat comes up back off the trailer. Think about your boat and your engine and what state your engine is in. Are your electrics on? Are you ready to go? Make sure that your electrics are on. Make sure your boat's in neutral, make sure everything is ready to go so when you need to turn the key, you're not scrambling around with a swell coming, still trying to figure out why your boat isn't turning on when you turn the key. A simple and effective way to see if your boat's on and powered up, use your tilt and double check your tilt bracket to make sure your tilt still isn't down. Check your fuel, obviously make sure you've got enough and that your bulb's primed up and the vents open. And always remember to put your life jacket on before you launch your boat. Make sure you've got a good bow rope handy and it's securely connected to your front cleat and it's somewhere where you can just have it nice and accessible. A couple of things to note is you can undo your de-shackle only when you're in a safe and secure position before you start backing down into the water. If you're going down some rugged terrain or you're not sure, leave it on. Otherwise, take it off, because the less time you spend on the sand, the better. Right, we're ready to drop her in the drink. Let's go. We're in position here, we've got enough depth. We're just gonna slowly start winding it off. We're gonna grab our bow rope, let her slide off. And then off she comes, easy as that. Round she goes. One thing to always remember when the boat comes off the trailer is to get the nose around as fast as you can especially when there's a little bit of a swell coming in. Because otherwise you start taking waves over the back and when you get some water in the boat, it all of a sudden becomes very, very heavy and it will stick to the bottom and you won't get it off. So one of the amazing things about these stabby craft is they're, they're so buoyant that they can literally float in almost no water. So you can see here I'm only in probably just under knee deep water and the boat's floating. No problems at all. Another thing to remember, when there is a bit of a swell, is just remember to keep the transducer up off the bottom so you don't damage it. When you've got your second person in position, you can start pushing off with one foot and then they can finish you off up into the boat like so. Bring your bow rope in, tilt your engine down key on and straight into gear nice and quick you don't have to go too crazy but you just want to trim your prop just so you're up off the bottom a little bit and slowly work your way out one of the biggest things to remember when you're beach launching is trying not to panic especially if there is a big swell coming in it can all turn to custard pretty quickly sometimes but if you remember to try and keep your nose into the waves 
and try and keep everything as uh, fast and smooth as possible, then you increase your chances of a successful beach launch. You can just come in nice and quietly. If there's a swell, you want to sit behind one of the waves or wait for a calm patch in the sets. One of the key things to note is getting off the boat quickly and getting the boat spin around when you come into shore. And I'm tilting up my engine. I'm taking a look back to make sure I'm not churning up too much sand. And as I come in, I'm switching off the key and tilting up like so. My side is spinning the boat around nice and quickly and I'm stepping off the back. Some of the key things to note here are keeping the nose into the swells and also keeping the boat afloat. Some beaches are quite tidal and if you just stand in the same spot holding the boat, the water disappears and all of a sudden you're high and dry. So just be uh, mindful that the boat's actually still floating. Once your trailer is in a sufficient depth, which it is at the moment, you want to bring your boat around. I bring my boat over still facing into the swells and I'll turn it at the last second when I'm comfortable we've got a shot at getting it on the trailer. Once your second person's ready to go and they're in position with their hook and they give you the signal, then you can start turning the boat. Yeah, so you just want to guide the boat in nice and slowly. And straight up on the trailer like so. Maybe a person clipping it on nice and quick. On the winch. You want to get this procedure done as quick as you can and get off the soft sand. So that's Beach Launching 101, remember to have a plan, stay on the sand for as less time as possible and stay safe out there, which is pretty easy in one of these little bad boys. <laughs>